Let's work it some more. Let's bring in Andy Challenger, Challenger Gray and Christmas, here to talk about some hirings and firings going on from industry to industry. Thanks for coming here. Thanks for having me. Now, you do have your Challenger job report coming out on Thursday. Yep. So can you give us a little preview of what's been happening building up to that? Yeah, absolutely. So in the first quarter of the year, we saw the highest number of job cuts that we'd seen since uh, mid-2014. So uh, job cuts are on the rise, but there are some real bright spots this last month in terms of big announcements of new hires. Right. We'll talk about a biggie, and that's McDonald's. 250,000 workers they're hiring for this summer. Yeah. Just this summer. I mean, that's that's an, a huge number. Right. We see some seasonal hiring uh, you know, from retailers, certainly during the summer, but this is a really big announcement, and they're doing it amidst one of the tightest labor markets we've ever seen. So they're doing something kind of innovative. They've partnered with AARP to uh, seek out older job workers, people above you know, 60, 65 that are involved with the AARP. They're listing the jobs on the job board and they're bringing a new type of person into the retail establishment. We actually talked about that on the show. And one of the reasons why McDonald's is doing that is because they like to work the early morning hours, the early birds. Yeah. It's perfect. It's brilliant, really, when you think about it. it really Plus, is. not to mention that Walmart has moved back with its greeters, which was kind of a fun senior job if people wanted some extra income yep. coming in. So here comes McDonald's. Totally. It's a, it's a, a new way for, for you know, multiple generations to work in the same uh, cool. workplace, different hours during the day. And it's, yeah, I think it's a really good idea. I actually know somebody who works at one of the McDonald's and it's his job to go around and make sure everybody's okay. Do you need some ketchup, whatever? And he's very friendly and it is working for McDonald's. So great job on that. Now, 3M on the other hand is doing some laying off. Yeah, we did see, you know, the biggest announcement we saw this last uh, month was 3M announced 2,000 job cuts uh, specifically relating to a slowdown of weakness in the Chinese market, uh, particularly amongst their electronics companies. And so they are closing a division. And so it continues to be a dynamic workplace market. It's tight. There's lots of hiring going on, but at the same time, lots of companies are, are feeling free to make changes. Will we hear any surprises in your upcoming report on layoffs? Uh, no, no huge surprises. A lot of these big announcements are, are out there, but we do like to take a look back at what's happened over the last month and put the numbers down because it, it's valuable information to the economy. Well, thanks so much for being on the show today. Thanks for having me. Check out businessfirstam.com to find out where to see our entire show. And don't forget to like, follow, and share Business First AM.